We draw in difference curves to represent our preferences, what we like more than some other combination, and what we like less. To construct in difference curves, we look at the combinations of two goods or services that give us value, that make us happy. For example, when we're looking at songs and DVDs, we need a starting point. So let's start at 180 songs and one DVD. To construct the rest of the indifference curve, we ask ourselves what combinations of songs and DVDs would make us just as happy as at 180 songs and the one DVD. In other words, how many songs would we be willing to give up to get one DVD and still maintain the same level of satisfaction? that is, get the same entertainment value. If we would be willing to give up 60 songs to get one more DVD, then we represent this point at 120 songs and two DVDs. We then ask ourselves how many songs we'd be willing to give up now to get one more DVD. Okay. Typically, the less songs we have, the less we are willing to give them up to get one DVD. When we had lots of songs, we were willing to give up 60. Now that we only have 120, we're more likely to give up, say, 40. And now that we only have 80 songs, maybe we'll only give up 20 to get that fourth DVD. We can plot a line that connects these points. This line represents our indifference curves. All points on this line give us the same level of happiness or the same utility. To construct the second indifference curve, we look at what combinations of songs and movies would make us happier than 180 songs and one DVD or 120 songs and two DVDs. We construct the indifference curve the same way we did the other indifference curve. We start at a point that makes us happier than the original point such as 180 songs and two DVDs. Okay. We then look at other combinations of movies and DVDs that give us the same level of happiness. What we find with indifference curves is that they will have this convex shape, that they will be downward sloping, and that they do not intersect. So when we draw the second, third, and fourth indifference curves, We can construct these indifference curves to look parallel to the first indifference curve. And we can draw a second indifference curve, and a third, and a fourth, and so on. The higher the indifference curve, the happier we are with those combinations of songs and DVDs. So we are happier at this point here than we would, say, this point or this point.